Welcome to the Ampol State of Origin Game 2 here in Perth. A huge welcome to all our fans that are at home watching the press conference as we speak. And of course, a big welcome to our media who have joined us here for the press conference today. We're starting off with Queensland with coach Billy Slater and also Captain Daly, Terry Evans. Billy, I'll, I'll start with you first. Obviously not the result we wanted here today, but it is a series, three games, one left to go. You go to Brisbane, what do you change? Oh, there's a bit to change. Um, yeah, there's there's some good stuff that we'll take out of tonight. I thought the boys were quite brave and courageous um, for the first 50 minutes, and um, things snowballed against us. We contributed to it, um, so we'll take a fair bit out of it. But like you said, it's one one all now, and we're back on the starting line. Media, I will open it straight up to you. What went wrong, Billy? What was the difference out there tonight? That was a bit. It was a bit. Um, you know, like I said, I, I think that first 50 minutes was a good contest, and um, you know, then New South Wales just started playing with a little bit more energy than us, and some concentration things kept crept crept into our game, and we compounded that. So um, that's where it was decided. You said all week there was no complacency in this group, but. As the match went on, it, it felt like the scored line just really yeah. started to get away from the team. Do you feel like in the later stages of the game they ever did kind of throw the towel in at all? Yeah, no, I don't think they threw the towel in. Um, I, I think um, it, it's probably more concentration than complacency. I think we lacked a little bit of concentration in our roles and um, it wasn't any one player. It was um, pretty much across the board. There was um, a lot of things that that players sort of lost their concentration and um, and that just helped New South Wales gain a little bit of energy, which they already had. How much of that's down to fatigue? Yeah, it plays a part, doesn't it? Like it's, a, you know, fatigue's a part of the game. And um, when you go down to 12 men, you know, your team's a lot more fatigued. So um, that contributed, but that's the game. Well, how costly was that sin bin? Sin binning? I just said fatigue's a part of the game. What did you make of I'll have to go back and look at the things, the, the penalties individually, but uh, that's 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 their job. That's the referee's job. They'll they'll review their own game. You guys will review that. Like I've got my job to think about, so um, uh, we won't use that as an excuse. What did you think What did you think it really turned the momentum? Like Bill said. Um, there was a lot of things that we did which harmed ourselves. We put ourselves in some really tough positions. I thought we were really, really brave to defend the way we did coming out after half time. And you know, what happened after that wasn't great. Um, but for that most part, while we did have 12 men, I thought, I thought we, we tried really, really hard. I was just on that, like that moment when you defend the way they did, and you, you didn't concede a try with 12 blokes in that first bit of the second half. It, I felt like you guys would grow a leg in that moment, and then it felt like when you suddenly then did concede, it was deflating for you guys. Is that how it felt a little bit? Like Bill touched on, for 50 minutes, it really did feel like there was a really tight contest out there. Mm. And, you know, the scoreboard probably reflects the last 30 minutes how dominant the Blues were. So there's a lot that we did wrong in that, um, but there was also a lot that they did right. So somewhere in the middle there, this is the answer. Mm. How much do you feel like you question your effort um, in that last 30 minutes? You say you're courageous for 50, but let that score blow out. Is that an embarrassment for Queensland? Um, look, oh, geez, they're big words and it's a lot of... A lot of titles and headlines that media like to put on certain performances, but the reality is that's what happened. That was the scoreline. And looking at my teammates, there's not one person that didn't try their hardest out there tonight. And as Bill said, from a coaching standpoint, it probably looked like we lost a fair bit of concentration there for 30 minutes. But again, I can't question the effort that we, we, we put out there. Billy, will you look to make changes for Brisbane Night? Um, no, that's our team. You know, we've got our team, so. We'll, we'll assess it, but um, you know that's our team that played tonight. That's our team that's been there through the whole series. So I haven't thought that far ahead. Um, yeah. Is Ruben definitely looking like he'll be out for Game Three? Is that the indication you got from the Cowboys? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, I heard it was three to five weeks. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure. Really, the, the really put the rookies under the 
punt tonight. Both wingers and even Jeremiah there and a few costly errors. Uh, the the outcome you, you give them a chance to um, get back them, I guess, to, to learn from that. Yeah, they contributed to the concentration errors in our team, but they weren't the only ones. There was there was other players that lost concentration for moments and um, you know, you can't do that at this level. You know, that's a lesson that we learnt and those young players have learnt. So it's tough. It's a tough arena. It's not easy out there, I can guarantee you. This is the first time you really as coach has experienced a loss, I guess. Yeah. How did you go in the box not being able to control what was happening on the field there and what was your emotions like seeing it kind of unravel and, and get worse as the game went on? Um, yeah, it's different. Uh, it was different for me in game one. Um, again, you know, you've got no control up there, but um, you've got to put a lot of trust in your players and, and trust in the work that you've done throughout the week. I'll look at my role. Um, I've got to get better too. You know, so I'll look at what we did throughout the week and where we can improve. Um, look, going back on the embarrassment thing, I, I just, I think Queensland will be proud of their team. They put in a whole heap of effort, all right? So it's one all in the series and you know, the series will go back to, to Brisbane. That's not going to win us the game. That's not going to help us unless we fix up these concentration errors. But they tried really hard. You can't fault their effort. And Queensland's always been about effort. Um, so they'll stick together, Queensland. Hey, look, you heard you on the field. Like, you obviously thought the Kapusi Simbin was, was rough. Like, you said they were all different penalties. Did it seem like it was unwarranted? I just felt like the decision was made relatively quickly, um, considering the amount of infringements that we had. So you never know when you're going to get those decisions against you. So any time you do get someone sent for 10, it usually comes as a bit of a shock. But like, like I said before, we did really well to scramble there for the most part of that 10 minutes. Daddy, when you had lines around Lucy leading into the match, especially after escaping suspension over the Sam Walker incident, and then people started talking about his rap sheet, I'm not sure. You're probably going to have to ask the referee around those those sorts of decisions. But you know, as a teammate of Felice's, um, I really enjoy playing next to him. He does everything he can to protect his teammates, um, and he wears his heart on his sleeve. So he's got a lot of time for Felice as a person. I don't think he goes out there to intentionally hurt someone like that. Did you think that it was officiated different tonight? Did it feel different? Um, I'll have to have a look at that, Katie. Um, but that's that's not my my thing to deal with. I, 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 my job's in and around the team, and what we can get better at. Um, and we'll look at how it's officiated, and we'll play to that standard. Um, but no, I'm I'm not here to talk about the referee. The, the referee have got their own jobs. So we've got our jobs. Players have got their jobs. So that's what that's where my focus is. Billy, how's Kalen? Yeah, he's um, obviously, you know, copped a bit of a shot there to the head when he was hitting the ground. Um, so uh, he was staggered on the field, so he came straight off. We, we made sure that he came straight off and um, made sure he was okay. Um, he obviously missed out on the Canberra game too with, with a head knock. So, um, oh, sorry, the game before Canberra. Um, so, you know, we've got to make sure that he's okay. Um, but in the sheds, he, you know, he was. He was. He seemed fine, but um, the doctors will assess him. Anyone else? Um, no, I think everyone else is okay. Once you're holding his shoulder. Then yeah, yeah. We'll have to see the medical staff. Uh, he's got a bit of ice on it at the moment, but um, I haven't really had time to go over all the medical um, you know, reports and all that. Dale, I just want to ask you. Did you? Th sorry. Yeah, yeah. We'll fly back to Queensland. So, sorry. Uh, we had to fly back to Queensland and um, to get that flight back. So, um, Daly, can I just ask you? Did you feel like, as a player, it was officiated different tonight? Uh, did it feel different to game one? Uh, not coming off. It's not the first thing I've thought of. No, I will watch it back and have a look. But it's not the first thing popping up on my mind. We're sort of more looking at what we did wrong more than anything. Okay, I'd like to thank uh, both the captain and coach again.